Namaste. Welcome. What is the role or the function of the tip of the tongue and most of its mobile component, the visible part of our tongues, in the practice of Ketchari Mudra? They will only play a vital role as far as curling our tongues to enter the backs of the throat is concerned. After that, the tongue would have to go passive again. It needs to relax again as if it's just resting inside the mouth. Right. So once the tongue is already there, it's the back part of the jaw, the throat, and the backs of the tongue, really the hidden part of the tongue, will uh, do the work, uh, most of the energetic functions, not really the tip. Right. So you don't want to be overworking the tip of the tongue and searching for whatever inside because there's really nothing there. Uh, the function of Ketchari Mudra is to reach really behind you know, the nasopharyngeal system where the disconnect you know, could uh, happen between the body and the head. You know, because that's, that's one of the uh, functions or the goals of energy channeling, Kundalini Rising, is for us to uh, make the pathway open and to connect the, the inner brain and the rest of our lower body in rising the Kundalini energy up. So we could uh, stimulate the inner brain. All right. And the Ketchari Mudra is so effective in making the pathway sensitive, the Tala Chakra, and open the process. Because it's very difficult to access because it's really hidden deep. You know, even the subtle bandhas of the Chalandara Bandha, and you will develop more bandhas in the future, is quite difficult. You know, but the Ketchari Mudra, since you're using the anatomy of the body, the tongue, it's uh, powerful in opening and you know, cleansing, irrigating that part of our energetic system. All right. So when you say the word Ong, Ong, yes, so mantras, which are nasal in nature, is similar. All right. So if you say that, NG sound, hmm, hmm, ong, ong, ong. Yeah, can you feel that involuntary movement behind the throat, the tongue, the subtle uh, muscular elements we hold inside the, the throat region? They would have their own way of ong, um, sealing, and then making the pathway narrow. Yeah, so, similar to Ketchari Mudra, because the backs of the tongue now will aside from opening and stimulating the Tali Chakra there, will also narrow you know, the, the pathway so we can filter you know, the level of force we send inside the inner brain. So if you say the, the mantras, um, it could be an alternative to catch your mudra as far as processing and stimulating the inner brain is concerned. Now, aside from that, the tongue has a direct connection to the rest of our body, every cell of the body, especially in the abs. And when you utilize the tongue in the practice of Ketchari Mudra, yeah, it's already uh, enough yeah, without the bandhas working to process the energy because the tongue itself, yeah, when you're able to master the Ketchari Mudra, you can actually throw the Kundalini energy from the hips straight up to the, the tops of the spine. And then the technique of sealing and making the pathway of the energy narrow is enough for, it, for us to stimulate the inner brain and after that um, we need to relax our tongue again and restore our mouth and then do some gentle forms of restoration because it's not enough yeah? for us to reach absorption we need to practice stillness and silence still yeah so Ketchari Mudra is not enough it's just one way for us to prepare for the meditation it's still silence and steadiness and stillness which will make absorption happen in our practice Till the next time. Namaste.